hello guys welcome to my session so today we will cover about the interview question on kubernetes so the first question is which container runtime using in kubernetes so this is the component of worker node so there are three component of worker node one is kubelet kube proxy and the container runtime so generally the interview asks you let me know because earlier we are using the docker right as a container runtime but now the micro now the kubernetes the new version of a cluster they are using the container d as a container runtime so this is the question which container container runtime using in kubernetes so container d the answer is container d so let's go to the second question what is daemon set so daemon set essentially runs a copy of that desired pod across all the nodes when a new node is added to a kubernetes cluster the new pod will be added to the newly attached node so daemon set like suppose in a cluster you have five worker nodes and you have created the daemon set like you have written the yaml file and the kind is daemon set because we have three type of kind one is daemon set we have defined the deployment and third one is we have defined the stateful set as a kind cron job so here we have created the yaml file and we have defined the kind is daemon set so once you run the yaml file then the five pod will be created and all the pod will be scheduled on each and every node so this is the call daemon set so like it's the directly proportional to the worker node suppose you have five worker node then five pod automatic create we haven't defined any replica in the yaml file so this is called the daemon set it's directly proportional to the worker node suppose in your cluster you have 10 worker node then 10 pod will be created if you have only one worker node then only one pod will be created so this is the features of the daemon sets and this is also one of the important question like what is daemon sets what's the difference between daemon set and stateful sets so this type of question might be the interview will be asked you now the third question so what are the range of node pod service so this is also a part of the service so uh, so they asked about like what is the range of node pod because the application exposed within this port range okay so you have to answer like the node pod service the range of node pod service is 30000 to 32767 so this is the range so this is also one of the most uh, common question like what are the range of node pod service so this is the answer 30000 to 32767 okay and the fourth question is what is tent and toleration so tent and toleration like apply to a pod and like uh, uh, toleration are applied to the pod and allow but do not require the pod to schedule into the node with matching tent so tent and also using like suppose in your cluster we have five worker node and i want to uh, like i want to uh, so suppose we have five worker node and for i want to use only four worker node and one worker node keep as a reserve so in this case we have applied the tent and like you can see here the command queue created 10 node node which will key value node schedule so no pod will be scheduled over that particular node okay so in this way we can achieve through the tent and toleration so so this is the concept of tent and toleration like no pod will be scheduled over this particular worker node so for that we can achieve with the tent and toleration so this is also the important question about the on the kubernetes like uh, this is also one of the scenario based questions the interview asked you about uh, I want want to not schedule any of the pod on a particular worker node so how do we achieve this one so we can achieve through the tent and toleration like no pod will be scheduled over this particular worker node so how to define like no pod will be scheduled on particular worker node so we have to apply the tent so tent command so keep the 10 nodes so we have to tent the particular node and then no pod will be scheduled okay so what is cordon and drain so cordon will mark the node is unsuitable and the drain makes it unsuitable and evict the pod 
so it's like save safely evict your pod from a node before you perform any maintenance on the node so like if you are doing some activity on the worker node like if you have some uh, you have to update some patches or you are want to upgrade the OS size or any or you want to do anything on the particular worker node so before to do start so before to start any activities first you have to do cordon and then drain so drain make it unsuitable and evict the pod like it will like suppose you have worker node 20 pods running here on that worker node so once you do, do the cordon then all the pods will be migrated we don't need to do manually migrated like each and every pod so we have to just do the cordon or drain then all pod will be migrated to the another worker node so we should have at least two worker node to use the cordon and drain so that our uh, all the running application pod will be migrated to the another worker node so this is the concept of cordon and drain so it's like very safe uh, safely evict all your pod from node before you perform any maintenance on the node so this is also one of the important questions so what is cordon and drain and what are all the component of master node so this is also a very important question the, this is the basic one question like what are all the component of our master node all the component of worker node so here the we have one cube api server etc scheduler control manager so you should know about all the component what is etc what is scheduler what is control manager what is cube api server what is the use of all the components? What are the uh, roles in roles of all the components that you should be know? Similar, we have the what are all the components of worker node. So we have three component of worker node. One is kubelet, second is kube proxy, third one is container runtime. So in the first question, I ask you like uh, which container runtime we are using in our cluster. So uh, here this is the component of worker node so so the container runtime we are using the container d runtime okay because in the old version of kubernetes cluster we are using the docker as a container runtime now we are now now the kubernetes now supported docker as a container runtime the currently we are using the container d as a container runtime so how many types of service because this is also a very important question like how many types of service so this is a basic type of service cluster ip node port load balancer apart from that there are multiple types of service which we are using in the production environment but basic is the three types of service cluster node node port and the load balancer so in the next session i will tell you what are other type of service which are which we are using in our production environment so then I will explain you so for for the day we can uh, we have only this type of question in the later video we can upload the scenario based interview question like what type of question the interview asks you so I have 50 plus interview questions so if you want I will share my uh, whatsapp number in the description box so you can ping me you will get the 50 plus interview question based on like that and the next video i will explain you the scenario scenario based interview question like some of the pod down so what is the reason how do we fix the issue some parts are stuck so in this type we have already created 20 plus scenario based question so in the next video next session i will explain you what are the all the scenario based question with the solutions okay so for now we have I have explained the top 10 interview question on the uh, Kubernetes. So this is the question. Yeah. Thank you.